Snap! <laughs> Arena of the Mind Wednesday. Charles Dixon here. Rob Parks here. So, pretty much get right into it. We got a lot of things to talk about. We got Lance Armstrong. We got A-Rod. We got Ray Lewis. We got the Yankees. And we got NBA. We're going to start it off with the NBA news right now. Starting the NBA season, as soon as players' introductions are finished, there will be a 90, second put on, 90 seconds put on the clock, and the teams will be expected to be ready for tip-off immediately. So... Another another rule from the NBA coming out today. It's it's crazy. I mean, rules they just keep coming. It's nonsense, but, man. Dwayne Wade said he can't even keep up with the rules that just keep coming out. Like it's crazy. The guideline pretty much is to eliminate or severely cut all the pregame routines that LeBron, Dwayne, Mr. Kevin James, Durant, Kevin the Durant be doing. All of them, every single one. I mean. You are right. LeBron is pretty much the Mr. first one. Mr. James is the main You were telling me in Cleveland one. he had. Oh, and, oh, in Cleveland. I used to go to a lot of Cavs games right. when LeBron was there. In Cleveland, he had a different <clears throat> handshake for each member of the team. Like, it will be him and Delonte West would do one. Then him and Booby would do a different one. Him and Mo Williams. This, this will take up like five minutes before tip-off. So. Like, Jesus, taking pictures with like a fake camera. Like, you remember that? That was a pretty fun though. Yeah, that, that was fun. I'm not going to lie. It, it, for me, well, the first time I read it, I did like, man, what the heck? This is a whack rule. Like, for real. Like, yes. why are they really taking away the fun of pregame rituals that each player has? You know, some some of these rituals are very dear to some players. Mm-hmm. But then we had the conversation and thinking about it, a lot of these rituals are unnecessary. You know, yeah. you could tell which ones are like, I have to do this before the game. And then the ones are like, oh, we just made this handshake up. We just want to do it. Especially the ones that change every game. Right. So. LeBron's going to still do that chalk toss, though. Yeah, he, he said he's going to try to get in there no matter what. Well, he didn't try. do it at the end of the finals. He didn't do it that whole series. But he said he's going to He didn't, did he? No, not at all. He was focused. So, but this time he, he said he's going he's gonna to try to fit it in there somehow. Dwayne Wade also said that he's always going to show love to the fans at the beginning. Kevin Durant didn't agree with it, but, you know, it's the NBA rules, so you really can't do nothing about it. Can't do anything about it, you know. So Somebody's going to try to put, cross that line and do it anyway. Yeah, he's going to do it on fine. the court. And they're going to do it. They're going to find a way to do, do something. So, it'll and be he, all right. And the NBA loves finding people. Well, you don't see Kobe doing nothing like that. No. Dude. Kobe's focused, man. That's one thing about Kobe. He announced those lineups. He's focused. He's ready to play. Oh. No, no, no antics, nothing. Got some more Kobe news later in the show. Um, already, now now talking about kicking a team while it's down. Ricky Rubio is already out for the Timberwolves. Now, Minnesota lost Kevin Love. So He's out I, 68. So, so what I read, he was sleeping and hurt his arm. His elbow. Then, or his yeah. elbow. He, how do you do that in your sleep? He's right. a, is he a wild sleeper? I don't know. What, what was he doing? He was in the bed with like his woman, and I have no clue. I have no, no idea. But, but then he like broke his hand like practicing. Like, yeah, just freak accident. Just a freak accident. Just bad. It just, happens, man. Basketball is part of the game. So how do you? What do you? What do you think Minnesota's gonna do now? I mean, they were really people were projecting them to do very well. Uh, like I mean, if he's out six to eight weeks, or is it four to six? Eight, six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks, he will be back by the third week of the season, mm-hmm. so they can stay afloat. No, okay. maybe they can stay afloat. Maybe, but this gives an opportunity for Derek Williams. Derek Williams is good. He can step up. Now we can all figure out why, like. This could be the reason why they drafted Derrick Williams because I've always been one of the people like, why, why did you draft yeah, Derrick when you have yeah. Kevin Love who is still young? Yeah. And why would you draft somebody that's the same position, plays the same type of way? Yeah. I but, thought the Cavs should have got Derrick Williams personally. The Cavs could have got anybody. They really need anybody and everybody on that team during yeah. that year. And they also got, uh, you know, AK 47, you know, mm-hmm. Andrew, Andre Karolinko. Andre Karolinko. Andre Karolinko. He's you know. washed up. So, but. You know, there's an opportunity for them to definitely try to do their things uh, with the absence of Kevin Love. Um, one of the things I thought was really big in the show that Boston Celtics are really, really serious about winning the championship this year. They just signed Leonardo Barbosa to a one-year deal. You so know, it some people, they, it doesn't matter. They're not going to win. I mean, he's still, still a good person to bring off the bench. You got more. He, he, they, played, for, he played for Indiana last year. I mean, you just—I mean, you take Rondo out the game. You got Barbosa coming off the bench, so it doesn't the tempo does not slow down. 
Yeah, and then you got Jason Terry coming off the bench. And you got to worry about him. And I didn't even wing. realize they got Courtney Lee. Yes. Yeah, That's a strong I mean, defender. They got they got some – their guard game is – their guards are very they, strong. They – man, honestly, Boston still might get knocked off by, like, a Philly or something in the playoffs this year. I, I, can, see, I can see that happening. I, I disagree. You disagree? I think the only per- – obviously, the only team that can beat Boston with the team they got is Miami. You know, shout out to Chris Joseph also being signed, SU alum, being signed by Boston also. We got Ad made it to the roster. So, you know, him and Fat Mello played at SU together. Yeah. Um. So, pretty much, Boston is a solid team. I mean, I don't know if they I got ever, some young boys. I'm not going to give them. Joseph, Mello, and Selinger. They got Terry, Courtney Lee. Courtney Lee, young. Terry's not young. I mean, he's not young, but they got. I'm just naming people they got. Oh, okay. But Jason yeah, Terry, Firepower. Still got the still old man Paul. You know, still got Paul Pierce. Kevin. Paul Pierce and uh, Kevin Garnett, as Cuffs calls them, team uncle. <laughs> <laughs> they are old, but they old. That's that's why they know. Boston knows that this is it. This is the year they have to win. They yeah, have but to. But they won't. You know. But I mean, good luck, Boston. Good luck. I mean, hopefully that's you can why get you past play the Miami. game. That's why you yeah. play the y'all to still play the game, so we'll see what happens. Um, so pretty much now, you know, not to take it to a negative moment or anything like that. Uh, it's a downfall, downfall time. Pretty much all the people that are really just on their way down. The Bye-bye. two people that I think are just really, really on their way down. Lance Armstrong, out of Nike, out of Chairman's Live Strong, out of the little uh, competition you were signed up for. Mm-hmm. Just everything is just being taken away from you. This is, all, I mean, this is all of his doing, though. He, I he, mean, yeah, I mean, he gave up. He didn't like admit to it, but he just got tired of like being scrutinized and being like hunted down. So but like, it looks like he might have got wit, caught wind of all this information that was going to come out about him and doping. Like he was like, "Wow, this is what all they found. They finally found out." I'm not saying that's true or not, but it's. It's that has how, to be a hard, how he gave up. That has to be a hard sport to win consistently Seven times like, like he did. Like, you got to know he's doing something. Seven times, two of the French. It's probably a b- bunch of them doing it. A bunch of psychologists. Yeah, the pedal. three people that were said that were witness to him seeing or witness to him doping, three of them are like people that have already gotten in trouble for doping. Yeah. You know, so. It's part of, it's part of the sport. That's I mean, sad. I mean, it is. It's, it's pretty widespread in cycling, so yeah. he was just a little bit better than everybody else, so he got... I feel bad for Nike. What, what was the na- name of the gym? Lance Armstrong Gym. That's crazy. So At the at the Be- at the the Beaverton, Oregon headquarters. Oh, no, they, they took the name away. They just... Quick. They, they have a big poster of him at headquarters outside. A few of them. They're probably taking those down. Oh, definitely. It's unless, crazy. unless he... I yeah, I mean, he was one of the faces of Nike. Like, you got to think about it. Like, it's like, the face, like, of, like, like the face. Like for a while, Livestrong yeah. was. It's Lance Armstrong, LeBron James, um, probably who else? Kobe, Kobe, and it's one more I'm thinking of. That's like the Ma- Tiger, Woods. Tiger Woods. Those are the four. Those are the four big, big names. And now Lance Armstrong is gone, man. And LeBron is the only one that stayed consistently. At like the high peak of Nike, never was dropped or close to drop. No, nah. Kobe was like hidden when he, during his time in Colorado. His case. Well, he was. Tiger well, he was actually was on hidden. Adidas though before that. Kobe was on. Yeah, Adidas. he started Adidas, but he was with Nike during that time of the Colorado uh, trial. Yeah. So or they kind of hid him. Yeah. Same thing with Tiger. They hid him away when his thing with his cheating on his wife thing came out. Mm-hmm. And now, the thing is, the difference is Nike never dropped Tiger or Kobe. They yeah. just like stand, stood back until everything finished, and then easily brought. Yeah, because they were signing. I think they signed him during that. I think they signed Kobe Bryant during the trial, or like no, no way. He Kobe or like was, right before the trial. Yeah, something like that. But it was that's when the Harachis came out. You know what I mean? Yeah, they took his name off. They just put him out as the Harachis instead of the Kobe Harachis. But that's here and over there. I remember I had some Harachis. There's some good shoes, lightweight, no ankle support though. Bean. But, Bean. you know, we want to say uh, another downfall is A-Rod 
No, 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 the Yankees. Pretty much right now, they're what three down, down three zero, three zero to the Detroit Tigers. Uh, they're in Detroit. <laughs> That's my favorite team, man. But man, honestly, and, I, man, it's not looking good for us, man. I did that, never say never. No, I'm gonna but, say never right now. But I don't know. Man, Girardi back. is like Vincent Granderson and A Rod. Derek Jeter's broke his ankle. He's having surgery. Forty six months. He's out for forty six months. Yeah. So he's out for cr- spring training. It's crazy. It's but like, it's like he gave up, man. A week ago, a week ago, we just beat the Orioles in Game Five. Things were looking up, and now they're looking way. Game down. one, we went to extra innings. Could have won that game. After that game, downhill. Downhill. Yeah, uh, it's all good. Yeah. So back on a high note, get well soon, Ray Lewis. He's had surgery today on his right torn triceps. Mm-hmm. Uh, sit out. He's out for eight weeks. So if the Ravens make it far in the playoffs. We could see him come back. And if they do win, I guarantee after they win, so if they win the Super Bowl and he comes back and plays, he's retiring after this year. Yeah. I think so. You think, I think he should. Mm-hmm. And one of the cool things I read about today was pretty much Russell Westbrook, the new, sign, new signee of the Jordan brand, has his own brand glasses. His own Urkel bifocal Sky, glasses. And they're man. pretty nice. They're pretty nice. Check them out uh, if you ever get a chance. The craziest thing, another some more Jordan news. Uh, a man from Chicago purchased <laughs> a gallon of barbecue sauce intended for use at McDonald's McJordan sandwich in 1992. Ran for $9,995. I think I had one of those sandwiches before in like Gary or Chicago. It was, it was only, uh, I think it was only sold in Chicago. Yeah, I think it was like, in Chicago. I think I was like six or seven. I think I yeah, had one of those. Yeah, no, but no one probably really, pure disgusting. Probably. Um, and it's not the only crazy thing. I, I read also read that a chicken nugget that looked like Jesus sold for six thousand dollars on eBay. So this is not the craziest thing to go on eBay and sell for so much money. Man, people are crazy, man. People are. People are nuts. But you know who's crazier? <laughs> you know, I was talking about A Rod earlier. No, I really never want to say he, he's a dummy or anything like that. But this this purely might be the reason why he's being benched. And now it just came out. You know, Alzo did have a ball. He had a ball delivered to two females in the stands of game during Game One of the American League Championship Series. You know, you know it was witnessed by a New York Yankees personnel, and a team source did confirm this um, story. So pretty much, this could be the reason why he's being benched. Yeah, he, he tried to just do what he had to do. He got to do what you got to do sometimes. During you know? the game, game like, one. his Australian model, man. You got to do what you got to do. But he ain't thinking he's going to get caught. Well, he got caught. He's A-Rod. Passing around a ball to the ball boy. But yeah, he ball boy. Th- yeah. Hey, throw the ball up to those models. Tell but them my name on it. Who would suspect that, though? He has, They got spies looking at him. And he oh, got caught. Always. Yeah. You gotta know You're always being watched You know It's funny A-Rod, A-Rod It's funny A-Rod this comes out It's funny to me Because this just came out Right after Kobe Bryant said He had a good talk With A-Rod About uh, pep, A pep talk with him About Becoming The A-Rod That he's used to seeing mm-hmm. And now this comes out About him trying to Holler at girls During the game Talking to Kobe You tied together um, <laughs> At least Kobe Do what he gotta do though he does. on the court. Kobe get done in court. And we're not going to speculate what Kobe does off the court. He's he's grown man. He can do what he wants. Exactly. Married and all. Tomorrow. Thursday. Thursday. Night football. Thursday night football. My 49ers yeah, boys. in Seattle. Who do you got? Seattle. <laughs> Anyways, 49ers going to bounce back. They got a game at home at Kansas San Francisco. The lucky team. Seahawks lucky have lost. Team. Has, are four and two just like 49ers and yeah. the two games that Seahawks have lost are two Ooh, for first NFC place. West teams for the first place Arizona and St. Louis so pretty much if we do tie at the end of the season they, it doesn't, if we beat them today it doesn't matter because they've already lost they'll be lost they'll have three losses all three MC West teams and mm-hmm. that'll pretty much be it for them yeah yeah that's it you I'm can't tired, become, I'm, oh, I'm tired of Seattle record. man they're so lucky man why are they so lucky so you're not at home so all right, especially you got to calm them down since last week you know yeah. Going at Tom Brady like that, he's crazy. They shouldn't have won that game. They shouldn't have won Green Bay. They should really be like one and whatever, five, Something like or that. two yeah. and four. But hey, that's what it is. Rena Mind, check us out Friday. 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 Friday, fun day. Outside, loving it. Or could be back in here. 
Depends on the weather. Because Florida weather is crazy. Or we could be somewhere else. A surprise. You never know. You never know. Keep watching. 